Episode 46 of the Joystick Show. It's here. We're here. We're we clear. We know that, like, well, I know that you saw episode 45 last week, and there, there hasn't been any difference, but it's been a while since we've been in the basement, yeah. because I was on vacation, so we had to film those last two episodes back to back, so it oh, feels yeah. good to be back, even right. though we technically weren't. Yeah, it was like a week and yeah, a half, you know I mean? something like that. I don't yeah. even know. So this time when I ask you guys what's up, it'll be genuine yeah. because it's been a while. But mm-hmm. uh, before we get into any of that, <laughs> you keep saying it. What? <laughs> you keep saying it's been a while. It's been, oh, you yeah, said yeah. it like four times already. It's been a while. It's been a while. And, uh, yeah. Before we get into anything, make sure to go ahead and like, subscribe, because we're trying to hit that road to five hundred, yeah. and we're and, gonna get uh, there. And a comment, maybe. And, uh, and we'll, yeah, tell we'll, we'll, we'll tell you. We'll tell you. We'll tell you what to comment. Don't Pretty worry sure. about that. Make sure to click that bell too. But yeah. again, Dang. we'll get into that later. Uh, yeah. But anyway. Yeah. I want to know how my boys are doing, uh, starting in the collective sphere. with Joey. Okay, uh, <laughs> Joey. How have you been, Joey? How has Joey been? Uh, this is the part where Dylan, you put your arm up and you think, yep, and then I'll be oh, like, yeah. Florida's great! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dylan is, uh, I mean, not Dylan, Joey is uh, in Florida where for I like was. like a month, But right? yeah, he's there for a lot longer <laughs> yeah. than I am. Like the end of the month, essentially. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, the next few episodes will be Joeyless, but fear not, he'll we, be here. We can get like a, a Karen up, you know, like the screen. <laughs> oh, well, oh I thought you Plankton's meant. wife. See, so, yeah, I'm I'm too uh, too thought on the uh, the new Karen. Oh, the, the angry, you know angry I mean? people. Yeah, exactly. Not yeah, the no. computer. Joey wife could also Plankton. be Karen if he wants. A Karen. Yeah, he could. I believe it. He could try. Just an angry customer like a Walgreens. Yeah. So that's You're why we that have guy. the we have the hashtag free Joey sign. Uh, please come back to us. We miss you. You're not that guy, pal. Yeah, you're not <laughs> that guy. You're not that guy. I, I say that all the time now. <laughs> Holy shit. It's such a good, you know, little catchphrase. Yeah. Speaking of that, Jerry has the you're not that guy, pal shirt. Right. That, yeah. I got to wear that next time. So Jerry is that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you're not that guy, pal. So I'm guy. Wear it one of these days. What, what have you been up to, buddy? What have I been up to? I've been coding, man. Yeah. A bunch of yeah. that. And you're enjoying it, apparently. Yeah, it's fun. Look at that. I it's imagine fun. just Jerry with like the holograms still, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, like somber yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like really getting into the mainframe of <laughs> the beginning of his class. <laughs> we were coding on like a like a web like on a special like coding website. Oh okay. To write JavaScript, and now we're like actually doing it on the computer, so it's just cool. Cooler. Ooh. I wasn't gonna say. Um, you ever seen that? You know, not to not to cut you off on your coding it, it, extravaganza. Have you ever seen that like shitty? Uh, it's like a shitty scene from some investigation like not invest like some crime show like csi yeah, yeah, yeah. but i don't think it's csi it's like a worse show than uh-huh. csi but the point is, is they have like a hacker mm-hmm. and he's like they're doing the typical hack thing with the yeah. speed type mm-hmm. and the fucking the yes. things popping up and he literally says something like we're gonna have to use a cyber nuke or something <laughs> like that and it's like the worst depiction of <laughs> hacking in a show and they literally say that they're like i'm gonna have to use a cyber nuke and yeah, it's like, yeah, oh yeah. My there's God. a video of a guy who's like actually a hacker who like he like served time for oh, like uh, yeah. he, like making a virus and he like w- wasn't allowed to use the internet which by the way i didn't know was a sentence Crazy. that you could have yeah but like he had his whole like ip shut down your boar arm in my vest yeah, has yeah, that yeah. sentence yeah. too Crazy. Like in, amongst the others boy. by the way real quick not to go on a tangent but i deleted every photo off of my <laughs> facebook except for a few iconic moments in my life oh man one of which is just a photo of that army my right. boss photo and i'm like why is this on my main account uh, also i'm keeping it yeah that's <laughs> like a, that's, that's a staple that's man. iconic yeah, but uh yeah before i cut what were we talking about we're talking about jerry's coding extravaganza nah, yeah. what have uh, you been learning gonna, to code I'm, well we started on javascript uh-huh so we're just like making functions and stuff so yeah, that's so it's just like fundamentals so for someone who doesn't know anything about this shit, it's like a function in math too. <laughs> for someone who doesn't know anything about <laughs> math, someone who doesn't know math, <laughs> it's the same thing except it's written differently. Yeah, I know. Like I, I kind of get it, but I don't. It's <laughs> like a, you know, it has an input it, yeah, and no, then it, it changes if, it into an output. If this is this, then you know, yeah, yeah, if yeah. Then, it's like a, it's like imagine, an option. Imagine if then, then yeah. but like times a million. Great. And if you fuck up, you you have to figure it out. I don't want to imagine <laughs> that. That's why I leave it to smart people like Jerry. Yeah. 
Real but, quick, not to go on a tangent, who's smartest person on channel? Let's have that fight right now. <laughs> most, I would say most. It depends. I would say most knowledgeable would be me. But yeah, that's I'm just because I have like I have the memory too. Yeah. I, I, would say I, that. I just have the trivial shit, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Anything entertainment. You're good. You're good. Like pop culture and exactly. shit. Like you have that yeah. under lock. Uh, Jerry's school smart. I'd argue. Yeah, yeah, I just learn. I learn well. I think. And then Jose's Mr. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Facts. Mr. Facts. <laughs> when, when, was, when Jerry dropped that shit, I wanted to. I wanted to run to Jerry's house and hug him, bro. I wanted to be like somebody has the balls to step up to this guy finally, man. Because any time somebody would post just like a random space meme that had nothing to do with it, Jose would just be like, "That's not actually true," because you know the Orion's belt. Da, 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 da. Yeah, 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 yeah. And finally, Jerry was like, "All right, Mister Facts, what calm did he, down." He, he said something. I was like, "Fucking what did he? What did he I don't remember." He, he, he was way out of line. Out of, out of any time, Jose was out of line. It was, he was out yeah, of line. it was it had nothing to do with it. It was like a stupid meme. You know, Jerry's just yeah. like, "All right, relax." Like tur- <laughs> turning into Neil deGrasse Tyson, <laughs> like literally. Have you seen him lately? No. He's like really going off on like, uh, like he'll just like go to like you know retweet someone mm-hmm. and just be like, well, actually, <laughs> and he'll do that with everything though. I found out he's half Puerto Rican. Yeah, I didn't, didn't know, know that. that. He looks it almost, my boy. I mean, I see it now. Yeah, but you wouldn't mm. have known. Like, yeah, interesting. What have you been up to, Dill? Yeah, I've just been going to the beach. And then sadly oh, leaving nice. the beach when it starts raining or the sun goes away. Yep. There's uh, been a lot of rain lately. Yeah. So I've been, yeah, I've just been doing that. Like, I remember I was hanging out with our friend, as we were talking about, Jose. Uh, and he was like, man, it must be cool. Like, you'd be able to, like, go downstairs and get breakfast and go to the beach. I'm like, I do that every day. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so I've just, and like, not that I've been getting FOMO, but literally, like, everyone I know is on vacation right uh-huh. now. Yeah. Like, people I know yeah. that are on the West Coast, they're in different time zones, they're in EU, like, they're in Ireland and shit. So, like, I don't know. Damn, Dylan's got friends in I kind of been chilling. Places, <laughs> <laughs> like, I've been hanging out and just been, like, relaxing because I start my class on Monday mm-hmm. for uh, some on Tuesday. I start my summer class. So, I've just been kind of trying to relax. Yeah. Just one class or two? Yeah, one. Oh, nice. One, but it's pre-calculus and calculus in one. Oh, that's rough. But apparently it's like 80% pre-calc, and then they throw in like one or two chapters. And they're like, oh, that's it. So I'm not like that worried. Can't wait for my part to talk about what I've been yeah. and it being not related yeah. to math me, at all. Me, me, <laughs> me, me, me and Jerry just fucking coding and doing the fucking numbers. <laughs> just skin. Bobby's like, yeah, I was do- doing arithmetic. <laughs> 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 fucking psych. <laughs> Bobby was in Florida. That's what Bingo. Bobby did. Another nice. person on vacation. Yeah, it was pretty chill. You know, it was cool. We I spent most of my time in uh, uh, it's Fort Myers, but specifically we're in Cape Coral, which is interesting. I was out there with my. There pa- are a lot of people that used to live in my neighborhood uh-huh. who now live in Cape Coral. Oh wow, look at that. So, yeah, I could bring Dylan out there and yeah. fucking he we'd be the talk of the town. Be hanging out, yeah. <laughs> a lot of fucking weed dispensaries out there for a, a state that's mm-hmm. strictly medical. Like yeah. no joke, every. They prescribe it a lot. They prescribe it a bunch. And Joey was saying, right, that his cousin who lives out there, apparently it's like you either get a gun license or a weed card. It's like an either or situation. Apparently it's super hard to get both out there. Yep. But like Mm. it was super weird. I know which one I'm picking. (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) The gun. It's like, I need my ganj. But, uh. Gun. (laughs) You're trying to make a joke? The gunj? (laughs) Gunj. (laughs) Fucking anyway, oh. uh, chilled out in Cape Coral, uh, and then went to Orlando for two days and went to Universal Studios, which was that's the place probably the highlight of my year so far. Nice, I was pretty fucking hype. Got on a bunch of rides. I was telling Jerry earlier. You ever been? So you've been to Universal? Yeah, right? I, I was there in 2019. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. went recently. I went. So I you, went. I went there, and then I and then I went home, napped for two hours, then went to the Halloween thing, the two in the morning. Oh, it was open at that late. It was all one. It was all one one day. That's cool. So actually. I was I was at Universal from six thirty in the morning to two in the morning. That's sick. and I just napped in. We between. did something similar, but you know it was it wasn't a holiday, yeah. so it was just open like nine to ten, mm-hmm. nine a.m. to ten p.m. So what we did is we went from like nine to five, and then that's when we like left to check into our resort, and then we came back at like seven to finish like the rides we didn't have time to wait online for oh. and stuff like that. But that. That would have been sick if the fucking park was open. Yeah, like and what I what I thought originally is that we did like a two day vacation. We did like two days, right, or three because the travel day. And I thought that it was the two separate days, and it's like, oh no, it's all one day. And I'm like, 
fuck. Yeah. I, I, I'm not going to sleep. That's one thing. <laughs> but, so, the park, but the park closes. So I was like, oh, fuck. I'll so, so Jerry, survive. you've never been. I've to, never even been to Florida. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Universal Studios is like one of my favorite places. So you know how people say like the most magical place on earth is Disney or whatever. Yeah. And I get that. I would does, say I would say neither in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, but it, yeah, but it has that appeal. But what I learned, at least in my opinion, at Universal this time around is I think I cracked why I love it so much. Yeah. It's because it's like Movies. built. Exactly. It, it's like I was telling Dylan, even when you're like waiting for the ride, it's not, you're not outside on a line. They put you in a set yeah. that looks like you're in the movie. Like um, a ride that is always good that I forget how good it is, is the mummy. Yeah. The mummy is an amazing the mu- ride. I, oh, oh, even better. It's, yeah. The mummy's like one of the best rides there and yeah. nobody's, seen a mummy movie in fucking yeah, like 10 no one years. cares right. you'll watch the intro there's like the artifacts everywhere you watch brendan fraser talk about the movie for and you're like, like two seconds uh, hey what's up bro yeah <laughs> bye but, it's uh, all about the vibe but yeah the vibe is great i really like the atmosphere it creates but what i was getting at is you know jerry hasn't been there and it's now my mission to bring you there I want to. I want to be I there when be you there experience it. I even told him I was like, I will go, buy honestly, Express make, Pass. go to like the Japan one. Make it like a real fucking. That would be oh, crazy. Go on like a real. And they adventure. have like the Super uh, the Nintendo World, but uh, but they have a ride there, Jerry. It's called the Rip Ride Rocket. I think you know what I'm talking. Oh, about. Oh yeah, yeah. One, so, two, three, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. That's how yeah. it goes. Yeah. It's a roller coaster, <laughs> but it goes up really steep. Uh-huh. So like, it's not like this. You go up straight up. Yeah. And then you get to the top, it drops you, and it's a roller coaster. But the gimmick on the coaster is you can listen to songs on it. So there's a little touchpad oh, yeah. on your on your thing, and you can pick a song. They got to update those songs, Yeah, they man. super need they to update. update. It's like my humps. Songs. It's like, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's 2004 <laughs> to 2011. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Better I, I wrote it to I Will Survive <laughs> to give you perspective. But... Uh, <laughs> So yeah, they have like all these songs, whatever, and they're like Dylan said, they're they really list- hope, <laughs> really, really hope no one crashes on that ride. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Like an unfitting song. But long story short, they have like three genres, maybe I think it's like pop, rock, mm-hmm. they have, like five, whatever. And then each genre has like maybe ten songs. And you pick the song and you that's what you ride the coaster to. Mm-hmm. And then if you want to buy the video after, not the photo, because this one has a video, it'll be a video of you riding the coaster to the song with the song playing, right? Uh, but what not a lot of people know and what I found out a few years ago was that this ride actually has an Easter egg, mm. which is fucking crazy. So if you sit on the r- ride as it's getting ready to like go up the thing, you can actually hold on the touchpad the logo of the ride for 10 seconds, and then the screen turns into a keypad, and you can put a three-digit combination and there's like a list of like 500 songs. Whoa! Yeah, like some Black Ops one menu shit. So you like, have yo, to, you, you have to go. Whoa! I gotta hack into you this ride. To, you have to bro. go on to the uh, uh, online, look it up, and you'll see the list. And I knew about this, but I was like, "There's no fucking way, right?" So I get on. <laughs> Is the there ride. enough time? So here's the thing. There's not. It's not a long. It's, it's funny you bring this up, right? Because yeah. it's not a long time. This isn't a ride where the ride stops. The ride actually continues going. So they, it's always on a conveyor belt, very slowly. But they have to empty out the, the passengers and then get the new ones in before it gets. To the a lot of them up. operate like that. So you don't have a lot of time to put in the thing. Uh-huh. So I, what's funny is when Jose and I went like four years ago, I knew this existed, but I didn't have the time because uh-huh. I was like, ah, shit. So I just picked the song and went up with mm-hmm. it. This time I had it and it worked. So I looked up and number one thirteen was like "Immigrant Song" by Led Zeppelin. So, you know, the keypad comes up, do, 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 and then it, it comes up and it's like, thank you for your selection. But if you pick one of those secret songs, you can't buy the video because they don't have like the rights to all the songs. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it says it. It's like, you will not be able to buy the video. And I was like, it worked. So sure enough, we hit the thing and it's like, it was like the best. Thing, I would so. I would have been so hype if you picked like a really song that did not fit at yeah, all. Right. <laughs> it was like fucking like the the saddest Johnny Cash song. <laughs> and I was it's like you're just fucking sitting there like oh shit, oh bro. My God. <laughs> yeah, man, it was it was good. Still- I want to hack into a roller coaster. But I, I before I I get off my Universal Studios tangent, I needed to have a conversation with Dylan about one ride in particular. At uh, I so, told so, yeah, uh, go ahead, go ahead. yeah yeah yeah. So when I went, I went on this one ride. So I went to the park like I said. I went at like six or seven in the morning, whenever, so that because with this you got extra, you know, you got to enter early or whatever. I don't know. But as we were wait- waiting to go to, uh, we were transferring parks because there's two parks. We were like, we're going to hit up the Fast and Furious ride. Uh, named Fast and Furious Supercharged. Supercharged. 
which by the way has two different locations it's at the one in california and at the one in florida and it's the same exact ride and real quick wow. before dylan continues if you want to go and check back either on last episode or the episode beforehand Dylan specifically mentioned the ride yes, and said a few words about it. So as I was going to the park and knowing that I was in Universal, I was excited to ride this ride the entire time. Ah, that is amazing because yeah. this ride, if I can just say right off the bat, is absolute horseshit. It is this the is, worst they ride spent, ever. They spent fucking, fucking like $5 million on this ride. They built a brand new warehouse. They had a perfectly good ride called Disaster. Yep. And it was like a disaster and like shit. It's a great ride. Yeah. It's a, like broadcasting. It's like this game. It's like the Blair Witch. Uh, what, what the fuck was it? The, there was like a uh, musical thing that used to be there on like off remember. seasons long story real quick but, to, to, before we even get yeah. into supercharged there's a ride there called disaster where the whole gist was like 15 minutes before you ride the actual ride they like film people on green screens and shit like that and then you get on a train and a subway and then everything goes wrong there's an earthquake yeah. and there's floods it's like a ride it's supposed to simulate it mm-hmm. but then they take the green screen elements from the people and they put them in a fake movie with the rock mm-hmm. which is kind of funny considering the rock is also in the fast and furious supercharged yes, ride he is. Wow. So he shows up in two rides back to back over the course of like 10 plus years yeah so they got rid of disaster for fast and furious supercharged and uh do you want to you want to pick back up uh yeah so i did not know anything about this right going and i know a lot of it of it now because of the amount of youtube content i watch but i remember specifically walking into the ride and seeing all of the cars they set it up like a garage when mm-hmm. you walk in so when you walk in there's like different cars and there's stuff from the movie you're there's like, like oh. garage parts yeah. tools tires mm-hmm. it's pretty cool set you're like oh really nice this ride's going to be really cool <laughs> and then the uh it starts essentially <laughs> right they uh, put you in a training room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah it starts and it becomes very quickly there's one part in particular that everyone said that oh i liked it until this part yeah. specifically and everyone knows what that part is and it's supposed to be the main climax i'm curious like on the ride yeah oh interesting. so like essentially when like the ride essentially like really starts and like you start moving a lot uh-huh and like there's like the chase scene that's where it basically lost everyone because it looks goofy yeah and i would agree with that it looks very very so to, to give you some perspective before the ride starts, they do this interactive thing where they put you in like a training room with like a live actress. It's like this this white woman. It's basically a mix between live acting and then videos of and people from the movie. And then there's a movie. video screen where they're, they're supposedly video chatting with Michelle Rodriguez and Ludacris. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, you know, Ludacris yo, is Luda, like... I, yeah. said, I actually said at nine in the morning <laughs> in the warehouse, yo, Luda! <laughs> and mad that he did not respond. <laughs> so, but the thing is, is like... He's, it's obviously pre-recorded yeah. so he's like listen agent i'm gonna need you to bring in our guests <laughs> to the next room but the woman is like all right i got it Da-da-da. why don't you talk to me so everybody's like uh-huh. like there's some people <laughs> laughing at her there's some people like she's not funny <laughs> like shit like that <laughs> so then they bring it into another room you know where oh and then the funny thing is like they get michelle rodriguez and Ludacris's face but i guess they couldn't get the rocks or vin diesel's because it's just their voice they're just like hey uh hobbs is coming in so we gotta get wait, out of here wait bro. wait wait they don't show the don't rocks show, face yeah not in the in the training room. oh okay no all right so here's where the ride actually starts after those training room doors open you get in a party bus which by the way fast and the furious super and they put you in a party bus yeah. <laughs> let me talk about that like that's not the fast fucking ride <laughs> it's not furious at all they put you in a party bus. It turns a corner, and there's like fake CGI people dancing in 4D over here. And then, like, it gets broken up, and then it's just like the cast of Fast and Furious. And they're like, hey, what are you guys doing and here? And they're all standing on a car. Like, yeah. they're on like a truck bed or something. And like if that. that's not enough, I'm not even saying this to be an asshole. The acting is shit. <laughs> and it's like this is this is a 4D ride based on a movie with the real actors and people are going to ride this constantly all the time every day and it's Whoops. still shit. You know what I mean? Like it's so crazy. And the worst part about the ride in my opinion, Jerry, is it is a straight line. It is one sh- ah. it's it's one straight line and it's a 4D screen on both sides. But usually what they do is they're smart about it. So if action is happening, it'll follow it so you could be like, "Oh my god, now it's yeah. here." There's shit happening on both sides at the same exact time. 
So you're literally like disoriented because you're like the rock is over here and then you hear a fucking explosion of Vin Diesel here, but the rock Damn is man. still here. So you're just like pack tracking left I, and right. I was, trying to, f- I was trying to find out how much it costs to make and I could not find that data. But man. a review website had it at a 1.1. 1. 1. Man. Yeah. It was a really disappointing. It was supposed guy. to be in the Chinese park and they canceled it. <laughs> Because oh, yeah. obviously. And the last thing to say about this <laughs> is uh, we, uh, after me and Bet had left to go check into the resort, we got into like a stupid argument about parking. And we got into like one of those dumb boyfriend girlfriend arguments where we weren't talking for like 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. So we were like, we got into the hotel room and we we're both just like annoyed. And, we're, and to make matters worse, uh, our check in, our hotel accidentally gave us a room with two separate beds. <laughs> so she was like, perfect. And she like took the other bed. I was like, I don't give a shit, bro. So I'm sitting there and we turn the TV on and we're not talking to each other. And by the grace of fucking God, it's Vin Diesel. And he's like, hey, I'm Vin Diesel. Make sure to check out Fast 9 in theaters. But also make sure to check out Fast and Furious Supercharged right here at Universal Studios. The hottest ride in all of Orlando. So, you know, we're not talking to each other. So we go back to the park. We make up. And then Bennett breaks the silence. She's like. You heard the Vin Diesel commercial yeah, yeah, yeah. on the TV, right? I was like, yeah. She was like, the hottest ride in all of them. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Holy shit. So, yeah. So, it wasn't a good experience for that ride. Not for I, that I, one. I Everything else was top notch. Yeah. I thought it was funny. Uh, so, not to go on a tangent about the Harry Potter shit, but, you know, it's the Harry Potter Wizarding World is huge there. It's huge. That's where the Hogwarts castle is and all the rides are. Bobby didn't know, and he's been to Universal three times since mm-hmm. that thing has been open, that there are two Harry Potter sections. Yes. Didn't know that. Just thought there was the one Hogsmeade one where, like, Hogwarts is. I didn't know that when you go to Universal, there's just, like, a brick wall that you walk behind. Yeah, Diagon Alley. And it's just Diagon Alley with a whole other mm-hmm. ride and other shops yeah. and shit. Didn't know that I was remember, there, and the whole, yeah. like, three times in ten years yeah. I've been mm-hmm. there. Like, I mean, it's new. I mean, it was new. Yeah. It's rec- it came recently. But, like, it's behind a wall. Put up a fucking sign or something. Mm-hmm. I don't read maps. What do you think I am? I mean, that's the whole <laughs> joke. It's like, oh, it's like in a little It's nook. supposed to be, like, the yeah. lore of the movie, but, like, mm-hmm. you know, not everybody fucking... And I went with people, and by the way, I went with everyone who, like, loves the series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when they turn that corner, they're all like, oh, my No, yeah, God. better love and, those movies. And literally, I'm just like, it's a fucking alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, what the fuck? Is everyone getting hyped no, about? No, but it loves that those movies. So she was the one that brought me there. But I like low key. If I was there with anybody else who didn't know the movies, I wouldn't know that shit is there. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I it was like cool that. nonetheless. All the rides were very Man. fun. I got the high score Men in Black. Only person in my car to get over a hundred thousand because oh, that really? ride also has an Easter egg nobody knows about. What's that? You, does it cheat? The red button. Oh yeah. Space Invaders. Yeah. yeah. You ever heard of the Men in Black ride? Jerry would love the Men in yeah, Black. Yeah, the red. The Men in Black ride is one of my is the ride that does the gimmick well. It's great. Yeah. yeah. It's a ride where you're like in a cart driving through a city. But it's like under attack by aliens from Men in Black. But you get a, a ba- blaster oh, gun to shoot at targets yeah. and shit like that. There's other ones in other parks, but this one's like yeah, the good hey, one. So it's like one of those arcade games, kind of like yeah. Mix. But you're riding, yeah. you're spinning, That's all this it. shit. But what's crazy about it is, as you're waiting online for the ride, there's like a bunch of TV screens that are always teaching, telling you the typical shit, like keep your arms in the mm-hmm. rides. Da da da. But they always that you have a red button in front of you, and it's always like don't press the red button. The red button's only for emergencies. But not a lot of people know that it's actually a, you, you get points by pressing the red button. Yeah. So you it's just actually, fucking yeah, went yeah. on it. No, you actually have to press it at an exact part. Okay, so it's like it's a it's a part where there's a lot of enemies. Or there's something? a there's a part where there's like a big boss type enemy, um. and the guy in the car is like, "This is it. It's time to push the red button." And if you push the red button as he's saying push, and you press it as the first person on your car, you get like a bonus hundred thousand oh. points off the bat. Okay. So yeah, not a lot okay. of people know that. So coming in with the cheats. Bro. Yeah, you know, man. Yeah, man no I got the secrets for hacked, Universal Studios, bro. Universal, if you want to ride man. a roller coaster to different music, or you trying to be dude. like, you know, top score in MIB, let your boy know. I'll hook They're you like, up. Like if you if you go on the ET ride and you fart, you go upside down. <laughs> like yo, it was closed. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it was closed. Yeah. Are, they gonna, talk are they gonna so are they gonna knock shit. down? Are they like, gonna knock down the fucking Simpsons ride? No, it's still open. They should. I don't think they should. Yeah. They they put a whole fucking. Don't get me wrong. I don't think it's the best ride by far. It's kind of annoying that it's all like 4D and shit. Yeah, but like it, they built like the whole Simpsons land around it, so it'd be dumb to get rid of all that. Yeah, but you build another Simpsons ride. I'm down for yeah, that. Yeah, you build you build some crazy shit. I'm actually super down for that because yeah. that one does lack a little bit, considering they put so much like stuff behind it. What do you mean when you say 4D? 
So it, it's, to, it's to compare it to like a coaster, right? Because right. a roller coaster is a roller coaster, but Universal has a lot of rides that are just like mm. simulations, kind of. It's it's you're in a car, sort of. But yeah, and you're moving around. But there's even then, there's screen. like variations on it. The, like in my opinion, there's like it's one of two. It's either like the Fast and Furious ride where the main focus is like the screens so you wear like the goggles mm-hmm. and you look around and shit like, like it's coming at you and all that stuff as you're in the ride but then there's other ones like harry potter or spider-man that add like actual effects like fire and water to spray you so oh, you feel okay. more and the, the harry or, like, potter they drop one your thing yeah, and yeah you that's feel what like well like the harry potter one is crazy yeah that one like flipping you around yeah. and shit but 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 again, even like uh, there's other rides like the Fast and Furious ride. Like Kong is a lot like that. The new yeah, it's ride just there, like extra interactive. But yeah. it's not as bad as that yeah. one. And I'd argue it's just because they took more time and to actually think about what would make it a good ride. Yeah, I definitely need to go out there. I love ro- roller coasters. Oh, I'm I've bringing all, you, motherfucker. We've only been to right. what Six Flags Dorney and Park. Dorney Park. Dorney Park was fun. Dorney Park was a lot of fun. Dorney. Have you been to Hershey? Hershey's good too. I've I need to go Hershey. there. Hershey's good. I need to go to all of them. Yeah. I'll go to uh, honestly because all of the good ones are in the same state. Like yeah, and that is Ohio has three parks that are all like top five parks. Yeah, yeah we and need to go there. Then. They have Kings Island and they have Cedar Point. Cedar which, Point, which that's are, like, the, I heard like the craziest coasters. They're just like there. they're all the best ones. Yeah. Hey. yeah, and there's also one I forget where it is. It's called Silver Dollar City, and there's literally like an underground cave underneath. Mm. Oh, so shit. it's like you go on roller coasters and then you go for like the cave tour. Crazy. I'd argue, uh, yeah, no, for sure. Like, that's one thing I will say, despite my, my undying love for Universal. It definitely doesn't have that many coasters. It has, like, maybe... Well, they added a few they now. They added a couple more. So, so but, like, better. it's probably, like, five or six big ones, kind of. But even then, it's not like you go there just for that. It's kind of like a multi-experience thing. And, it, oh, man, I want to say one more thing, but I for, forgot what it was. I mean, I was going to talk you about You didn't die that. down there. That was good. I didn't die down there. Yeah. Somebody at Popeye's almost died down there. Yeah, that's that very true. <laughs> that's yeah, very man. true. I've yeah. never, like, just hearing the rage. Tell, me, tell me more about this. Oh, yeah. So uh, <laughs> so here's what, how this happened. Oh, fuck that bitch. Anyway, <laughs> I've, it infuriates me Bobby, now. come on. It infuriates me, bro. Bobby, oh. you're back in New York. Oh, gotta, <laughs> anyway, I know Bobby, I'm back in New York. York. And guess thoughts, what was Bobby? the first thing I did when I got back? Got to, I ordered Popeyes. It's not <laughs> bullshit. You could look at my fucking receipt. Anyway, uh, another thing, as and this is going to segue into where what I'm getting to. When you go to a park, especially like Universal, you're it's an all-day thing. Mm-hmm. You're there, like Dylan said, from when the park opens to when you leave because obviously you pay all that money you're gonna do as much right. as you can with the time you're, you're given that being said there's a, there's a lot of water rides and one thing i've noticed is like when you ride the rides and you walk around and your squishy shoes you get blisters it's and just you not, get hungry and no you get one, tired no one know? likes the water what ride. i'm getting at is that by the end of the day you're fucking tired and yeah. you want to rest you know what i mean so it's like 10 o'clock the park is done we're getting ready to go back to the hotel our hotel is in it's a universal resort hotel Which no bullshit it? it was the low sapphire okay. no bullshit it is a five minute drive yeah from the park yeah it's very close really really close we're about to leave city walk which is like uh it's actually a, f- a f- mo- it's a f- open area in universal that you can go for free that has like restaurants and shit like that okay. it's it's just you have to pay to get into the park but they have that that little section that's open it's like a nightclub area type of thing okay but they have restaurants and i told Bet i was like do you want anything here and she was like, nope, nope, nope. So finally we were like, all right. But Betty really wanted like Chinese food. Okay. So we left the park and we agreed that we were going to go, instead of going to the hotel, we were going to like drive out of the universal area and we were going to go find food. So as we were looking for food, I looked on Uber Eats and I found a spot nearby called like Taste of Asia or something like that. Okay. And I was like, let's go there. And I saw it was closing in like 10, in like 15 minutes. So it was like five minute drive. I was like, let's make sure we get there before it closes. So we get there. Betty goes in, orders her food, cool, whatever. I go on Uber Eats, and I notice that a bunch of other stuff is about to start closing. Okay. So I'm like, shit, I need to get food, because I haven't eaten in, like, fucking 12 hours. It's easy, like- easy, easy solution. Anyway. Get Chinese food. <laughs> Very easy solution. No, it wasn't that. Like, she knew that I was shooting. The, the idea was that she knew that we were going out of the way to get that, because then we were going to go oh, back to, like, where yeah. they had more restaurants, and I could pick something different. We go back, and I noticed that she said something like, you want to get Popeyes? And I was like, yeah, sure. So I noticed that it was going to close soon. So on the Popeyes app, I looked, the restaurant's on the thing. I order the food, and it says, your order went through, number 808, paid with Apple Pay. It'll be left on the front thing. 
Okay. And I was like, perfect. We get to Popeye's, and it's I'm, I got there like three minutes early. The door's locked. So I'm like, ah, shit. Like, I, whatever. There's a woman wiping the table down. So I, like, knock on the window, and she just points, go to the drive-thru. So I'm like, okay, I get that. And I see, like, a bag on the counter. Uh-huh. So I, I go up, and I'm trying to show her that it says, like, order 808, da-da-da. And she's like, drive-thru. Okay. So I'm like, <laughs> all right. And keep in mind, er- almost everybody is nice in Florida. Yeah. So I've been on, like, a six-day high of people like, good morning. How you doing, oh, sir? Yeah, 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 and yeah, now yeah, this yeah. bitch comes in, and I'm like, oh, I will fucking gut your ass right here, <laughs> yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, but yeah, whatever. Yeah. I go in the car. We go into the drive-thru. We wait. We go up to where the the you know the thing goes on and you fucking say whatever you have to say in the intercom mm-hmm. and the intercom has a robot voice and it's like sorry we are closed thank you for da 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 mm-hmm. so i was like what the fuck so better was like nope we're staying here so we pull in and we're behind a car that's taking mad long we're yeah. in the drive through for like 15 minutes at this point mm-hmm. the woman opens the door and she's having a full on conversation with this car they're laughing he's like oh my god mm-hmm. finally she gives him like two huge bags and then she gives her like you know, like the bag of tea that they get. They have like a Popeyes, they yeah, get like a yeah. bag of tea with like mm-hmm. cups and straws. All this shit. And she's like, "You have a great day, y'all." Da, da, da. Drives off. We pull up, and she's like, "Oh, we're closed. Sorry." And I'm like, "Hey, I have an order that like went yeah. through, and this, uh-huh. that, and the other." And if she just went off. She was like, "We don't have it. We're closed." Da da da. Yeah. And at and this point, like you saw I'm it at the table. Too, and yeah. So. And at this yeah. point, I'm upset. And da da da. And Betty was telling me that she thinks that she gave her my the other guys my food or whatever. Uh, whatever. It, like I wasn't that mad, right? But yeah. this is what got me pissed off. A couple of things got me pissed off. <laughs> Betty is going off, right? And she's like da da da. da. And I, I tell her, I'm like, babe, babe, it's fine. Like, I look at the woman and I'm like, excuse me, ma'am. And I'm still calm at this point. I'm like, uh-huh. can you just tell me? where I can get food then at this time because everything else is closed. And she was like, you go to the gas station. And I was like, I will kill you right now, (laughs) right here, woman. But what infuriated me was I told her, I was like, she's like, where did you even order it from? And I told her, I showed her, I was like, the Popeye's app. <laughs> like, I picked this restaurant in this address. Yeah. And I ordered the food and paid for it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I told her, and she had the nerve, the nerve <laughs> to look at me and say, we don't do pickup here. What? You are the only Popeye's <laughs> two minutes away from the Orlando, like the Universal Resort, and you're on Uber Eats, you lying bitch. Yeah, <laughs> so I complained about How it. How can on, you uh, not Popeye's do pickup? App. That doesn't even make sense. It's on Uber Eats. And she it wasn't even that. She said, we've never done pickup here. That's not a thing we do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Excuse me? Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Yeah. So you just you don't profit any money from yeah, that. When things, when things close, every rule, everything oh, goes man. out the window. That's why when anything is even close to closing, I don't go anywhere near it. And then we Cause, drove Because you're like, going to get a bed. Like, anytime anyone ever fucks up on Uber Eats, it's always the place was closing and they were just like, oh, throw yeah. it all in a bag, get fucking out. But also shout outs to uh, Jessica from the Popeye's customer service. They don't send you a robot. It's like a real person. And she's yeah. like, I'm sorry. We just noticed you just signed up with the app and you're already getting this horrible thing how can we help and i was like refund me and investigate that fucking restaurant please and she was like we'll do mm-hmm. except i didn't say fucking because i'm professional but, yeah. <laughs> but i did rat them out because you know i wanted to be a little karen about it no i mean look if pete <laughs> the only time i don't get mad in situations like that if it's not the person's fault Oh, like no, for, it was her fault. Right. Yeah, that was like, my food, bro. Yeah, exactly. So, like, for example, when people get mad at, like, a restaurant and they get mad at the waiter, it's no, like, yeah, well, the waiter didn't right. make your food. Exactly. So it doesn't make any sense. No, no, but you need it, to be rude to her. But when a situation like this occurs, yeah. It's like, again, fuck yourself. Yeah, literally. You want to close. Then we went to Outback and I had a great meal. Yeah. Not the same night, unfortunately. Yeah. The yeah. Shout out. If made anyone up, wants to go to Outback, I have a gift yeah, card for Outback. Hey, Shut so. up. No, he said he's taking me out on the date. <laughs> I, I, I had Jose. He said he, it was Jose, but then he switched it, and it's I, me I, on the roster now. <laughs> Jerry, if you want to get Shut Outback, up. let me know. I would much rather take you I'm than down, someone let's else. Go. I'm down to eat. Because I was gonna take, I was gonna take Jose. Bob, you gotta listen. <laughs> I was gonna take Jose, but then he picked me up at 10 p.m. and it closed at 10. All right, I have a car too, bro. Uh, Does Jerry have, have a, a license? Does Jerry have a car? <laughs> no. Case no. closed, motherfucker. No. Unless you want to bust the outback. <laughs> I'll take one out back, bro. <laughs> So yeah. yeah, I had the I, I didn't know they you know how they have the bloomin' onion? Now they have like the new bloomin' fried chicken. So I had that, it's pretty good. What? It's what like, does that even look like? It's like a it's a it's boneless chicken breast that's fried, but it's like fried in the same stuff they do the bloomin' onion with with the same sauce drizzled yeah. on top. So it's like slightly like ranchy but yeah, spicy. Tangy, yeah. It's not bad. It's yeah, like a tangy ranchy. 
happening. You know My first saying? bite was a bit bland, but it worked anyway. Yeah, 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 it comes no. with a bunch of sides. Yeah. I usually don't like chain restaurants. Like, I have a big vendetta against them just because they suck. And it's like the whole reason you go out is like you're spending money on a restaurant. Yeah. You're trying to buy like actual food, right? But right. Uh, Outback's the one where I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. When do we, uh, when do we rank the complimentary bread at chain restaurants that yeah. they give Well, you? Outback is the best one. No, it, it's the second best Out, one. Outback is the best one by it's far. Red Lobster. Yeah, people say the bread. The, Outback. That is not bread. That is a biscuit. It's bread. <laughs> oh, that's, that's it correct. It is bread. You know what I mean? It's not a, every, it's, but a, it's a cheesy biscuit. Every, it's a whole every different rest, category. Every chain restaurant has their I know, form but olive of a oil, complimentary like, bread base. I know, but you're comparing it to snack. something different. I know, but yeah. like you're so, just, okay, so this is bring, like that argument that they have in like the unit in like EU so, so, where they're so like, so oh, chips Subway is bread, bread isn't considered bread. It's considered like cake or something because it has like too much sugar or what? something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, I'm just saying that like in that same category, like if you go to a Mexican restaurant and you get chips and salsa, it's the same but that's not bread. You know what I mean? I mean if, if That's flour, a fried tortilla. If, if they're flour, flour chips, then it's bread. <laughs> <laughs> Look what we're getting Dude, into. Dude, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Okay, Outback's the best one. Olive Garden breadsticks. It's not a biscuit. Wait, it's not Outback? I don't loaf remember what those are like. It's like the brown. It's like a brown bread, but it's not like... It's not like... um. It's almost like a little sweet, believe it or not. Yeah. And you put the butter on it. It's very good. Hmm. It's really good. It's if not we're, like pumpernickel. If we're going by bread. Dylan's bullshit technical standards, then yes, it is the number one bread. <laughs> fucking those cheesy compl- biscuits are mad. They are so good. And if we're going by biscuits, then yeah, I haven't had red I mean, lobster. The best. Yo, the last time my parents Man. went, I joked around kind of, and I was like, "Yo, mom, if you want to bring me like a doggy bag of biscuits," and she fucking did. <laughs> she brought me like a doggy bag of five, and I was like, "Let's go!" Holy All shit! Flaky Crazy. and light. About to order, about to order eighty buttery on Uber Eats. Crust? <laughs> buttery flaky. <laughs> Hell Man, yeah. oh we yeah, chain. We got a tier list of chain restaurants. Oh yeah, no, I was gonna say fucking uh, my dad. So I don't think I got a chance to finish it before. But the reason we went to Florida is because my parents are kind of like looking for properties to get down there, not necessarily to move, but just to have a property out there. Like whenever they go to Florida, they can stay there. My mom was even talking about like the possibility of like renting it out as like an Airbnb type situation. So they're just looking for like an investment Doable. thing. Doable. And uh, so they've been going to Florida every now and then to look at different parts. So that's why we went to this part. But like my parents went a few months ago to a different one and they were on a tour a few months ago up in like, I think it was somewhere near Tampa or something. And on the tour of houses, they like stopped by the like the mega mansion of the person who like owns all of the Outback Steakhouse chains. Oh, my boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrew Wu, I think. Is, <laughs> is that it? No, it's not. But well, he's, he's an who, Asian. Uh, he's an Asian man, hysterically. Yeah, it's like he, my dad was telling me he owns like that. And he owns like another lesser known chain of restaurants that are big in one like region, I think. But hmm. I was like, oh, shit, it's crazy. Shout out to that guy living big off of Outback Steakhouse. Yeah, living oh, a man. lie, by the way. You're not even Australian. Yeah, right. <laughs> he might be. I don't even know. But I feel like yeah. the vibes of Australia have died so much with Outback Steakhouse, and now it's just like a steakhouse. Yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's just yeah, like yeah. it's it's, it's literally it's literally a regular steakhouse, but it says blokes on the door. Yeah. <laughs> And there's like a, a photo of a kangaroo and like a photo of like a mining town in yeah, Australia. Yeah, yeah. It's like, all right. It's like you know, Uluru. Really like, have you ever been to the Applebee's? Where is it? Is it uh, Bayside? There's an Applebee's in Bayside and it's literally wall to wall football merchandise. I think, yeah. But yeah, like yeah. high school and college. And yeah, it's I think really I've been to strange. An Applebee's one that's, time. That's the one that we. Applebee's is trash, but. I went to the one in Sorry. QCM one time. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I've, I've been to that one. I've definitely <laughs> I have been to that one. I've the been to that dark, one. The d- deep, dark yes, QCM. Deep, dark it's like fucking fuck. mad. The whole, the whole mall is mad bright. Yeah. And then you just and see. It's like that little fucking hole. It's in the corner. It's like Cinnabon. By the exit that no one uses. Yeah, yeah, right. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. In the back, like near the high school, you want to get crazy. Not to go on a fucking story about that Applebee's now, but I remember one time we were eating there when there was a fire at Q Queen Center Mall and everybody had like evacuate in the middle of it. What? My mom and dad no. were sitting. <laughs> my mom, my dad, and we might have been with my grandma. We're sitting in the restaurant, but my dad was still in the mall getting something. And he, we evacuated, but my dad was like, his story was hilarious. Apparently, like, everybody was panicking, and they were like, ah! And they were, like, running out of the mall. It was like, a huge scene. And because I, I think the fire was, like, in a Macy's or in a JCPenney. Mm-hmm. And my dad was, like, he was he was telling it. He was like, I was pretty calm. Like, don't get me wrong. It was rushing Did out. Did he steal? No, he didn't steal anything. <laughs> that was my idea. <laughs> he didn't steal anything. But apparently, as he was, like, trying to get out, he was running by a kiosk that was, like, selling action DVDs. 
And in the movie, there's like a part where there's a huge explosion and like the glass breaks. And my dad thought it was like in the mall and like a bunch of other people that was around it did. So they were all like, oh, shit. And they like bolted. They started oh running. Oh, my God. This is my dad was like, I thought we were about to die. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's just like the guy who straightens hair. <laughs> Literally, fucking uh, someone yeah. overcooked the fajitas. Yo, know, they made like a whole big thing when that guy that cuts hair left, right? I I follow that guy on Facebook. I had I I don't think it was him. I it wasn't. It, it was like a meme. Like, like, yeah, but everybody in Queens liked followed. That. I like I had. It was like on, a big like Queens like fucking yeah. Like a thing. Like, it was a staple. A meme, bro. Yeah, man. For real. That guy with the that sick man. ass Adam Lambert hair. Because I don't know why it was the place to hang out. I think it was because your parents gave you like 10 bucks maybe or at least yeah, mine did it wasn't mine yeah like, but have money, go to the mall. yeah yeah but like if but if you if you made it sound like you actually had to buy something they would but if you didn't then they were right that's about my case they even the like the, first of all i was not a mall rat never went to the mall i think i went like once What's with the you. mall all the fucking time bro but fucking uh like eighth grade it's like why are we at the mall like huh? they kick you out too it's yeah. like they know you're not gonna do anything so they're just like get out mm-hmm. <laughs> i mean we but, but that's the thing if you buy something I don't know why. You're it's part like, of the mall. It's such a stupid. You have thing. like a vendetta against p- people who go to the mall, bro. <laughs> Me? Yeah, that's what it sounds Fuck like. The mall, give a shit. I hate the mall, but I don't, have, oh. I don't care if you go to the mall. Okay. Or not. But my, if, one of my favorite Queen Center Mall stories is when me, Joey, and Jerry went as youths, little children. Joey was, uh, we think we were about like 15, and Joey was all sweet and sensitive and wanted to buy a oh, gift for his girlfriend at the like time. That. He was going to get something engraved at a kiosk, and we were with him. And uh, it was <laughs> it was gonna take like fifteen minutes or something like yeah. that. So he drops off the gift or something, and he's getting it engraved with the girl's name or whatever. And me, Jerry, and Joey just start like walking around the mall to wait for this guy to finish. And at one point, we're standing in front of a store or whatever, and we see these like girls giggling, like looking at us, and we're like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> like that kind of yeah, giggle. Uh, so one of them, yeah, one of them, like you know, scampers up. <laughs> And hands Joey uh, one of those Starbucks coffee holder things like to keep your hands safe, the cardboard things, yeah. with one of their numbers written on it and, mm-hmm. like, a name. And she was like, my friend's too embarrassed to call and, like, give <laughs> yeah. this to you, but she thinks you're really cute. And then, you know, fairness, the girl wasn't ugly. Like, she was uh-huh. a cute girl or whatever. But obviously, like, Joey was dating the other girl, but Joey was, like, so <laughs> awkward. Yeah. <laughs> so the end of the thing, and he's just like, Okay. <laughs> so he takes it. He, he takes it, and then the girls like run away. And they're like, oh my god! And then yeah, like go yeah, away. Yeah. And Joey's just like, he looks down at it, and he like he's walks like, to the garbage, like, and he just like, like, like imagine, like, it. imagine like a Napoleon Dynamite type vibes, yeah, yeah, yeah. where he's just like he doesn't know how to handle. Yeah, it. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't know yeah, what yeah. to do at all. Honestly, like, now that I think about it, it might have been like a prank too. <laughs> like honestly, people are fucking crazy at the mall. But you might have been. Are. They have to make up fun, man. <laughs> mm-hmm. They probably right. were gonna call them and like pretend they were like the president of Nigeria or some shit. <laughs> like, you know, send us some money, man. Some pranks. <laughs> Prank, best store yeah. in the mall, Cinnabon. The best store at the mall. Does that yes. count? I mean, it's like Auntie Anne's though. Yeah, right? Get which a is also the pretzel. best store at the mall. Yeah, <laughs> they got no interior. You just got the line. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. At King's Plaza, there's a place called Cookie House. I know Cookie and House, and literally, it just makes the whole small mall small. <laughs> the whole small <laughs> mall. <laughs> smell and mall in the same <laughs> sentence really the whole blew small my. Mel. It makes the whole mall smell like cookies, bro. That's dope. Like cinnamon, I was just like, dope, bro. Nice. Fire. Yeah. So I don't know how we're gonna fucking segue this. Hold on, let me try this. Yeah. It's been a while. Me and Jerry want to talk about some. It's been a while. Mall legs. <laughs> Jeez, bro. He I fucking played. met me. Yeah. This motherfucker jumped into my brain yeah. and knew he was like, this son of a bitch, Bobby's gonna come up I with mean, this. It, it, literally, it's like one letter off, technically. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh man. So, real quick. I uh, have been watching. You have? No, you I haven't. haven't. Uh. So, no, you're, you'd be with a lot of people. There's actually a specific reason why we wanted to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna light my hat on fire. Go for it. J- don't do that <laughs> at all, please. It's hot now, though. Jerry and... Uh, <laughs> I think we've touched on it a couple of times, but Jerry and I are huge fanatics of Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. Jerry, yeah, very thankfully introduced me to it, or at least the competitive side of it, back in like twenty something. fifteen, sixteen, something like that. And ever since that, we've just been like, 
I've been playing. We've been melee-ers, you know what I mean? And, you know, not to toot our own horns, but, you know, we're... Our horn, I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> Just trying to find the word. <laughs> not to toot our own horns, but considering, like, where we started five, six years ago, we've right. grown a lot. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? We've sure. gone to tournaments. We've both made top eight, if you could believe it or not, even if it's just a local, but that says something, you know what right. I mean? Because we've also gone to tournaments where we don't even make it out of pools. Like, yeah. So you, what I'm trying to say is I love melee. Like you, it's, it's a game, game that if you put the time in, you'll see yourself get better. And I, the community is awesome for the most part. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, but when COVID hit, everything kind of shut down and in esports in general. But, you know, Melee didn't have any in-person tournaments for like a year and change. And right. Melee is having its first big in-person tournament this weekend when yes. you watch this, at least. And that is in the form of Smash Summit 11. So real quick, uh, not everybody here is going to be a Melee fan, and that's right. fine. But yeah. to give you the quick lowdown, you know, back in the day when I used to play Melee with my cousins, it was like I told Jerry earlier, it was just like you try to hit Falcon Punch. As many and, times as you can. And, and so, so one day it'll hit, and mm-hmm. you'll Charge win. Charge you know up the I mean? blast, and you shoot at the blasts. And also, this is weird, because when I like joined you guys to play, I didn't want to play at first, because I never played Melee before ever. Mm-hmm. I never played any Smash game. Yeah. Oh. So I was just like, I walk, I was like, how do you hit? And you guys are using like the thumbstick <laughs> yeah. to hit. And I'm like, I didn't even know that's how you played. Like, so I didn't know that was a thing. Kind of like the funny thing about Melee is Melee's creator never intended it to be the technical craziness that it is. Mm-hmm. But it's if on the outside, it looks like any other Smash Bros game, right? Yeah, right. It's all the colorful characters, the colorful stages. You know, you can play with up to four people. You have the items and all that stuff. Yeah. But what he didn't know is that if you took away the items and you played on six tournament legal stages and you picked <laughs> one of like seven really good characters out of the 28 unbalanced characters or 26 unbalanced characters in that game, you get a really high level, fast input, like crazy fighting game. Right. Uh, and that's what Melee is. It's super awesome. I'll probably cut like a five second clip here or something. Dun, yeah. dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it's like the Armada Shine, but you do it instantly. Oh man. Oh, this could be it. Oh wow. Oh, oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dun dun dun. But uh point is it's been yeah. gone for a long time and the Smash Summit tournaments uh, are a big deal. Yeah. Aren't they usually not fans? Aren't they usually Oh, that's beyond the summit. Am I thinking of? What do you mean? Like, isn't it like the summit people usually go, like, you, you go away, right? Right, it's they have a, an invitation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so not like the house or whatever. Yeah, most most melee tournaments are, you know, normal tournaments. Anybody yeah. can sign up. And you go for, like, it's like a weekend-long thing. At right, a, at try a, to win. At a big expo hall or, or a hotel ballroom or something, you, you know? Somebody, COVID transfer center. <laughs> yeah, right. Or uh, as other people as, as other people will say, the non-deodorant zone. Because oh. there's some smelly Smash players, oh, I'll right. admit. I'm not one of them. You know, they you should gotta, hand it out at the door. They like, should. They absolutely should. Or just axe Yo, somebody. Yeah, right. <laughs> But uh, but point is, is uh, Smash Summit is a very different tournament. It's an invitational. You have to be invited or you have to be voted in. Yeah. Uh, which is, like, believe it or not, a big deal in the community. It, it, so there, need- there's other summits as well, like for Rocket League yeah, there was they, one. Yeah. And it basically turns into, hey, like people doing different shit on their stream. To yeah. get try someone to get ate like a vote. raw onion. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was, It was like disgusting. So fucking chew that in a raw <laughs> onion. Uh, whatchamacallit uh, people have done subathons yeah. just like anything they, can to, anything to they can anything they can to make you vote for them so you know and, and Smash Summit 10 happened during COVID and it was an online tournament mm-hmm. so this is like the first not only is it the first tournament back it's the first summit back and Everyone's what's there crazy person. about it is Jer- Jerry sent me the picture while I was in Florida the tournament Ooh. hasn't even started yet and it's like already projected or it's, is it's the highest prize higher. pool in melee history, yeah. Not it's... to mention that the number is going to continue to grow all the way until grand finals is played. The yeah. highest prize pool was what I think like eighty thousand before something, something, something like that, somewhere hovering around there, and now it's like over I think a hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, and now I think it's going to probably keep going up because yeah, right. with all that money involved, like sponsors and stuff will get involved too, which is weird because all of the big esports melee never got like no one wanted to help it kind of yep, right. you know what i mean it was this kind of like all the other esports have every single sponsor mm-hmm. like rocket league a game that i play when it first came out literally it had state farm seven up monster 7-eleven right like it had like it snickers it had like all of these sponsors and yeah. i'm like no other esport or like there's a bunch of esports that are just getting gypped kind of yeah. right 
I think on, another thing that not a lot of people know about, and it's it's interesting. <laughs> I've always said that one day I'm gonna like do justice to the melee scene, and I'm gonna like film a documentary. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, show the world like this is the coolest game you don't know exists right now. Like you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's a cool way but, to put it. But it's like it, it's not. It goes past the game. Like Jerry understands, and even Dylan because he talks to us. But it has a lot of history. The game's like almost twenty years old. In fact, it's gonna be twenty years yeah. old in September. And like it's been an esport for like fifteen mm-hmm. years. You know what I mean? It's when uh when you guys first got into it, and I was like, I, I want to know. I want to know what this is, right? I literally was on the wiki for like five hours, <laughs> yeah. just looking at like old matches. And they do they do it in chronological. Yeah. And right. they're like, oh, you can click here. Oh, this person didn't play for six months because of health reasons. Yeah. Oh, this person didn't play, and then they came back under a fake pseudonym. It's <laughs> like it's all this shit. And Crazy I'm like, shit. Oh, they fixed this match. Oh, this guy almost died. Yeah, it's like but, what the fuck? But the wildest thing about it is like throughout all of this time that melee has been around and i touched on it earlier when i said that it was kind of an accident melee has never had the support of of nintendo no most other esports have the support and i think that's why they do so well Mm -hmm. melee since day one has been building itself up it's com- it's a completely grassroots community. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and you know, Jerry will tell you we've had sponsors. Red Bull jumps yeah, in, right? Geico. Like People jump in now, but it started with just the community, mm-hmm. right? There's that fucking story with Evo uh, 2013. Oh, that's that was like big. people argue that that's when Melee survived. Like that's when it's it basically what happened is Evo was a huge fighting tournament. Yeah. It's it's I don't know if it's still considered with uh, all the shit that's happened recently, right. but in the past, in the was, past, it was, Evo it was like the, biggest the any, fighting yeah, tournament. Every it, it game, was in Vegas, game tournament. you know what I mean. And it, it wasn't just Melee; it was every fighting Street game. Fighter. Tekken, Street Fighter, MVC, MK. Mortal Kombat. You met there. To find out who was the best of the best, right? And it was, and it was a status thing too, because the yeah. funny thing was, is like compared to other tournaments, it wasn't like you won the most money at yeah. Evo, but it was a status thing. It's if just you like won, the bragging rights. Exactly, it was like I won Evo. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but so what happened is in 2007, Melee was in Evo, mm-hmm. uh, and it was really, you know, it was a cool tournament. But then after that, Melee was never shown in Evo for like six years. It wasn't until 2013. When they showed the lineup for that Evo, and Melee still wasn't involved, but they were going to have a donation drive. They put up like six games or something like that, and they were like, the last slot in Evo is going to go to the game gets the that gets the most donations Donation. for this cause, right? Uh, it was like, it was a bunch of games, but what it ended up winning was uh, My Little Pony friendship is magic fighting game some shit like oh, that wow. kid you not yeah I didn't know that. yeah right but what happened was hasbro didn't give the rights um. to have it be streamed so it actually got caught out of the running and then it was between melee and skull girls oh yeah skull God. girls but big. one of melee's figureheads bobby scar newman aka scar and a group of other people rallied together to basically spirit bomb the donation drive and completely <laughs> blow skull girls out of the water Melee was shown and played at Evo at 2013. It's still to this day considered one of the hypest tournaments ever with Mango fucking right, doing hype, Mango right. things. And it was that moment that it kind of just Melee was just back. Like Melee was right, like, was we're here to stay. That. You're not going to shut us out. And no joke, Melee has survived like five things like that. It's kind of yeah, crazy. It's been quite turbulent. We have survived like <laughs> cease and desists. Like a fucking few months ago, we had to get rid of like a thousand players for like all kinds of crazy sexual conduct. Oh, I remember that day. It was just like that was a crazy fucking day, man. Like Twitter just exploded. You just wake up and you're like, oh, wow, the entire Smash Bros. Ultimate community is full of predators. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like, it's insane. Mm -hmm. And sadly, it's a very common thing when it comes down to the material at hand like yeah. video games and comic con stuff there's a lot of that right, predatory behavior because there. yeah. there's young people everywhere and the funny thing was is like it, to be completely fair because i'm not bullshitting it it was, it was major it was the majority of it was ultimate players right yeah mm-hmm. like no well, bullshit players that had moved from the the, the newest game to the newest to, game yeah to the newest and even game. then it was like right it was like five of like the top 10 players yeah. or something crazy like huge that. and it was mostly huge. the people that just went from yeah, melee yeah, yeah. to brawl to ultimate and it wasn't that many melee players but the funny thing is, is that all of the melee players that did get canceled and were in trouble were all like from New York. So yeah. it was like, <laughs> fuck, like we can't have like anything, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then we get like one player left, and now he's like a psycho on Twitter, and right. it's like, bro, <laughs> Wait, like, who's please. The, who's the crazy New York player? Hacks. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hacks is I mean, on a tangent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah Hacks is crazy anymore, yeah. right? 
I, I don't know where he is, man. I don't know if he's here in, or in L.A., but Cody, come on. Yeah, man. he's in L.A. now. <laughs> come on, buddy. Number three. <laughs> Doing good work. But, yeah, I just we wanted to take some time to talk about Melee and definitely go at least check it out for a few seconds because, like we said earlier, Summit's an experience. It's not like a normal tournament. There's going to be cool stuff. They do, like, sketch comedy very shit. Very family shit. Very, like, cozy right. retreat vibes. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's not yeah, like it's normal like tournaments. Kind of. mm-hmm. But believe it or not, even though there's no, like, thousand people watching you and shit like that, I'd argue the tension is even higher considering yeah. what's at stake. Mm, that's a lot. A I mean, this is, like, everyone is going to be trying their absolute they call hardest. Sun- <laughs> they call Sunday at Summit Silent Sunday. Because, yeah. like, nobody talks to each other. Yeah, of course. Everyone's there's nobody. Yeah. They're like, yeah. what do you do? Nope. Don't talk. Like, oh, and you, you know, don't want to give you, it. You don't want to give practice. anyone tips. You don't want to yeah, give yeah. anyone. That's right, another like big a, thing. Since the prize pool's so high, like nobody wants to play with each and other. This is almost double the last one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think Hungry Box. He won the last tournament. Yeah. Which was the highest prize pool. I think it was Summit Five, which was a couple years ago. I mean, yeah. He won about like thirty-five thousand almost for first place. So this one's gonna be about double that. Technically, like, I'm not talking to anybody. Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah, not yeah. talking to anybody. Yeah. I'm taking my money and handing Fuck out handshakes. Yeah. Jerry won thirty five dollars <laughs> once at a fucking local. Right? <laughs> you would have thought this man was like fucking <laughs> Usain Bolt or something, bro. He walked out of that electronic store in Astoria like a fucking <laughs> let's go. I got my yeah. money back, motherfucker. Yeah. That was a hype ass day. I was hyped for Jerry. <laughs> I was mad at Fuck you, you Gotham or whatever your name Whoa, is. Where that guy? Where he's watching right now. Good. <laughs> he knows. He Fuck knows. you. <laughs> I can beat Sheik's now easy. <laughs> See me. Man, that was fun. He was a Marth. Even I, then. Damn, I wish I had video game tournament experience. I went to a game, uh, Guitar Hero one at GameStop. That's vibe. Yeah. Got second so place. So you're probably better than Jose is what you're saying, right? Uh, back in the day, I was. <laughs> oh, he said, we got to get Jose up in here. I'm not good anymore, but back in the day, I, I could, you know. I say, I, 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 this is what we should do, right? We should bring in Jose one day, right? But mm-hmm. you secretly practice for a week. Okay. Okay? <laughs> or like two, whatever you need, okay. right? And then we bring in Jose and we're like, hey, Jose, we want to see who's better you or Dylan. And Jose will be like, pass me that shit. I mean, I gave him my guitar yeah, and yeah, all yeah. my and shit. Then, yeah. On some like, you know, student to master level shit. And then Jose is like, you know, does his shit. But then we pass it to Dylan and Dylan does his shit. And then it's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's a video right there, bro. Yeah, I'm down. I'll guitar battle. Guitar battle? Yeah. You won't believe what happens next. You won't believe. Oh. <laughs> Just like Dylan and Jose's face. Surprise. Because we'll get Jose to agree to that totally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jose, can we use you for a really cringeworthy YouTube thumbnail? Yeah. And you'll be you like, just oh, open your mouth real wide. Imagine he's like, of course. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Why do you ask Jose's me? mouth actually isn't capable of opening <laughs> oh. 35% more than... <laughs> oh, man. So wow, we actually Jeez. we talked for a really good, yeah. good, good chunk of time. A good, uh, a good hunk. Leaning into that uh, jam and yam time. I, uh, so you know, let's just fucking get into it. Yeah, you yeah, said yeah, you have yeah, your yeah. yam. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me see of if course. I got one. I've been listening to some different music. All right, yeah. go for it. Go for it. I didn't have Mad any Don't music. The I do not remember the name of it though. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have it right here. It's called. Is that just the cat upstairs? No, that was my dad pretending to be the cat upstairs. <laughs> Sorry okay, about that. Yeah, my my song of the week, my yam is called TBH. I don't like being social. Okay. By Love Lockdown. And I already know that that's a hyper pop song. It is not only that; <laughs> it is the same exact beat as one of the former ones. Like the All beat right. is very like, uh, like Gossip Girls okay. type vibes. Okay. It's and li- I like Gossip Girls. It's literally like the same song, but like more layers. Mm-hmm. It's pretty young. dope. Yeah. My uh I can actually can't wait to hear it. It sounds kinda of fire. Yeah. My jam of the week is Dinero by Trinidad Cardona. It's actually kinda or Cardona. Sorry, I should have said that with Trinidad Cardona. <laughs> Long story short, it's uh it's kind of like a big TikTok song now. Yeah. It's like the one that's like she take my dinero and people like put, you know, dance oh, I've heard songs that song. to it. Mm-hmm. But I found out it actually came out like three years ago, but it's only getting like super popular now that it's becoming like a TikTok song. But it's super catchy. Love that in Spanish goes into like an English pop. But I was jamming to it on the plane. So that's jam of the week. What about you, Jerry? What are you going to listen to? My song of the week is Pomegranate by Dead Mouse and the Neptunes. Mm, they have a song together? Right. Correct. What? Right. They, do, they do. That's a lot of production power. That, yeah. What the <laughs> fuck? Yep. They, they do have a song together. That's insane. Yeah. I kind of need to hear that ASAP. Mm-hmm. Craziness. I like listening to some Pharrell music, so you, you know I had to. 
uh yeah so on that note thanks for watching the joystick show make sure to go ahead and check out the jam yam and bam of yeah. the week that's what we're going uh, that's yeah. what they are yeah uh fucking check out smash summit 11 this week give it a shot it'll be very cool i guarantee you'll probably find something you like uh also go ahead and check out some youtube videos of the fast and furious supercharged ride so you can see just how uh shitty it is if you want (laughs) if you want uh if you want vin diesel to grab onto a helicopter that's all cgi and the same size of as him uh definitely go for it after i got off that ride i texted dylan and dylan immediately messaged me did vin diesel grab the helicopter and i showed Betty and she fucking started crying laughing <laughs> because we were both like that was easily the shittiest part yeah, of yeah, this yeah. ride and that, that, that is the one part and i remember it specifically being like holy shit that looked terrible yeah, it's that bad. <laughs> oh before we get off the podcast one last thing i want to say about yes. the universal thing because i okay. had it lodged in my brain and i want to say it go for it uh when jose and i went years ago when we brought jose out there uh i mentioned the kong skull island ride mm-hmm. it would it had just been there's brand new right we got on and the ride malfunctioned halfway through because i think a kid in front of us on the ride tried to like get out or something oh. so they had to stop the ride and halfway through the screens turned off and you're just in like a dark room and like yeah. a safari truck and it just drives to the end slowly but at the end, there's like a huge 50 foot animatronic King Kong. But when me and Jose went, it was off. It was just like that. <laughs> <laughs> so you drive around this literal, like, giant animatronic, like, ape, and he's just like. <laughs> and we're like damn so when i was on the ride this time i was like i really hope it fucking does something yeah. and sure enough it's like Arr! and yeah, i was like that was geez. way better than when fucking jose and i just saw this just dumb passed. thing my uh my my spider-man malfunctioned but the the ride kept going and the sound effects kept going but the screen was off so you were just in darkness Spider-Man getting yelled like, at you're gonna get her you're gonna get her. watch out and you're just like i don't know what the fuck's going on bro. i'm getting kidnapped <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment what your favorite theme park is. Yeah. Yeah, because you got to have one. And if you don't, uh, go to a theme park. Right. You get that checked off the bucket list. They're very safe. Join us next week when we talk about uh, some other stuff. Uh, I think we. I told Dylan that he has to binge watch Loki so we can talk about that. I low-key have to watch Loki. Yeah, yeah, and it's six episodes. You know, I saw Black Widow. We could squeeze that yeah, in easy. next episode. I I'll also want to think we should go. We've, we haven't done this in the history of Joystick I, or on the history of the Joystick show. I think the three of us, now that the COVID protocols are coming down in New York, we should go to a movie, see the movie. Right. And we could talk about the fucking movie. That works. And we should low-key go see Space Jam too. Yeah, I'm down. Do that. I'm down. Oh, I'm down. We didn't talk about the fucking. Oh, never mind. Oh, man. Weird. All right. I can't wait to hear what this is about. <laughs> but make sure you join us next week when we talk about whatever the fuck Jerry was just about to say. Yeah.